Good afternoon. That was just really awkward. Sorry for the awkward pause. I have to make things more awkward sometimes when they're already awkward. I think I have a disease. Anyway, I'm currently eating breakfast. College. Um, I have like a problem with sugar in my diet. It actually needs to stop before I turn diabetic. Anyway, um, I had a bit of a bad night last night, like with nightmares and panic attacks and didn't really fall asleep until like 6 a.m. and it was just kind of gross. But, um, I did kind of wake up and write this poem and it seemed okay, I guess, when I wrote it. Um, reading back over, I'm not sure if it's very good, but I'm gonna film it anyway because, um, that's what I do. Um, also, I wanted to mention that I'm going to post a Facebook status today, probably, um, in which I ask for poem ideas. So, if you guys are friends with me on Facebook, um, definitely, uh, you know, just throw a random subject at me and I'll write a poem on it, um, and maybe it'll show up on one of my videos. So, definitely do that. It'll be fun. And if you're not friends with me on Facebook, like, what are you doing with your life and... How did you find me? But um, definitely friend me. My name on Facebook is Raven Nelvin Diltz. Nelvin's not my real middle name. Actually, I don't have a middle name. It's a long story. Basically, it burns down to the fact that Zoe Simpson, my roommate, is incredibly creative. And my RA last year was a little weird. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to read the poem before I bore you to death. This is called Pretty. I have looked at myself in the mirror and the truth isn't pretty because I am not pretty. And before you jump to an automatic, this is a young girl with no self-esteem who is fishing for compliments judgment, please realize that I am not because it's not the compliments that I remember. It is the time when I was six and my mother was standing in front of the mirror in her bedroom, hating her thighs which dimpled when she clenched them. I have those same thighs. It's the time in 10th grade when a friend told me I looked bad in yellow. I haven't worn yellow since. Not once. It's the time in 7th grade when a boy told me I had manly sideburns and I wrapped my arms around myself and loathed the skin I had been wrapped in. I was never bullied, but I can't look in the mirror without seeing layers of underhanded compliments and constructive criticisms. I have never worn a bikini without feeling like a whore. I have never worn a ponytail without smoothing my hand over it a million times, feeling for bumps. And I know that we are supposed to look on the inside for beauty. And I think I might have it because I love easily and I feel everything and I see you and my heart beats proud and my blush is quick and my blood is the ruby reddest you've ever seen and I cry when I hear a song that means something and I dream constantly and if a genie granted me three wishes the first one would be for someone else and I carry everything I believe in with me in the marrow of my bones and I write even though it hurts. And I've never had a drink, and I've never smoked a cigarette, and I've never done anything illegal, but I've never let anyone too close, because if they're close enough to see how hard I've worked to be pretty, they'll see that my ears are too big, and I have a callus on the ball of my foot, and a varicose vein just above my right kneecap, and a bump on my nose between my two small eyes, and horrible posture, and a habit of biting the skin off my lips. If I want to be loved... I'll have to turn myself inside out because I am not the homecoming queen or most popular. I am not a size zero or a size double D. I am not a model or a blockbuster actress. I am the girl who looks around herself every single time someone calls out a compliment. I am the girl with five stuffed animals in her bed. I am the girl who trips and stumbles and flops. I am the girl with two mirrors in her bedroom who punishes herself by checking her reflection every time she feels pretty because I am not pretty.